Hey guys, Tech Venture here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to upgrade your MacBook to macOS Monterey by going through a simple step by step guide on how to do this to make sure you don't miss anything. So, in this video, we're going to talk about things like compatibility, the storage, the time, and also backing up your MacBook and finally doing the upgrade itself itself on your older MacBook or newer MacBook. Doesn't matter, you can check the compatibility, but it should be a pretty so simple forward upgrade itself so let's dive into it so before you even do think about doing the upgrade itself two things you want to make sure is that you're connected to a power source even if you're fully charged i like to put it on power source because the upgrade process is really extensive and it does take some time so you don't want the macbook to die for some reason if you have a bad battery or the battery drains out quicker the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're connected to a good wi-fi source here as you can see here i'm connected to a wi-fi here if not just go over here and connect it to your Wi-Fi. So those are two things that you want to make sure you have. So the next thing you want to do in the upgrade process is actually make sure that your MacBook can actually upgrade to the Monterey Mac OS. And what I mean by is it able to upgrade, you have to check the compatibility. How do you check that? First thing we do is go up top here, left hand side where you see the Apple logo. We're going to click about this MacBook. Once you click about the MacBook, we want to take a look at the version of our MacBook that we have. So as you can see here, the MacBook version we have is a mid-2015. Now that's an old MacBook, but we have to make sure that it's compatible. Something maybe even older might not be able to update to the Monterey Mac OS because it's not supported. So we open up a browser like Safari here. You can do it with Chrome or anything else. And then we're going to check Mac OS. So we're going to type in Google Mac OS. Monterey compatibility so now it will come up so you Google search this and the first link you'll see will take you to support.apple.com now this will take you to this page which you can find we'll leave a le this in the actual description section as well on where which MacBook are actually compatible with this version of it. So you can see here, you can take a look at my screen or go on the link itself. But as you can see here, all the newer MacBooks are available. But then as we go down here, as you can see here, the the latest or the oldest that you can upgrade a MacBook Pro here, it has to be at least an early 2005 or newer. Ours is a mid-2015, so this MacBook barely makes the cut. So it's important to check that to see if it, your MacBook is actually compatible. If not, there's no point of trying to do the upgrade as it will fail. So that's the one thing you want to check. So after you check that, we'll close this out and now go back to the screen here Now that we have here. Now another thing we want to check here is the storage. So if we click on storage here, as you can see here, there's an option for storage. We want to make sure that we have enough storage to do the upgrade. So the installer it takes about for this update is around just a little over 12 gig. But what you really need, because that's only the installer, enough space. So we recommend at least somewhere between 35 to 40 gig of free space. So as you can see here, this MacBook has around 229 available. So you want at least, I would say, 40 gig available before you consider doing the upgrade. Now, if you need to go ahead and clean up, delete some stuff, that will help as well to free up some space. But don't do it if it's like under 20 gig available. You want to make sure at least 40 gig just to be safe so the installer doesn't fail because that'll cause some issue. As you can see here, this is how you can check for that. Now, the other thing we want to talk about before we do the upgrade is the time it's going to take. I mentioned that we plugged into a charger. This upgrade generally takes between half an hour to 45 minutes if you have good Wi-Fi and your uh, MacBook is good in performance. But if you have an older MacBook like this one that we have, could take up to several hours. So it's good thing that you have at least several hours to the upgrade plan for at least three to four hours for the upgrade to happen because during the upgrade you might not be able to use the computer so be cautious of doing that so as you know you want to be charged with a good wi-fi now we're ready to move on to the next thing before doing the upgrade which is going to be again we're going to go to the apple logo click on system preferences and this time we're going to do is a quick backup so we can back up either using your iCloud to back up your files and things like that if you're signed into your Apple ID or you can use the time machine here and then follow this process to back up your disks. It's important again before you do the upgrade to do a backup in case 
the upgrade fails and you need to go back to a previous version and it's just really important even i would not recommend doing it if you don't want anything lost or any deleted data generally with the upgrade you don't nothing gets deleted photos videos apps uh, your files everything stays on the computer but it's always good to do a backup just in case again can't stress enough how much it's important to do it but make sure you back up your device finally the other thing you want to make sure you know is the macbook's password to get in and if you're signed into apple id make sure you know the apple id and password as well because it will it might prompt you to enter it after you upgrade so those are a couple things to note so once you're ready to do the upgrade now it's time to actually do the upgrade now the upgrade can be found in multiple places you can actually find it here in uh, as you can see here in system preferences software update you can click on that it will check for updates you need to make sure again the internet connection is good it will show up right here the other way you can also check is by here in that page that we see about page we can also click on software update which basically up opens this page now as you can see here mac os monterey is here it's saying about 12.4 gig but as i mentioned you need at least about 40 or more and then we can click that upgrade now let's say if you see a newer version like ventura or some new version that's out and you don't want to get to the new version how can you get this version to get this version you can also go open up safari and then you can search up mac os monterey Monterey download so if you click on monterey download it will take you to the mac app store which is the very first link and then once you click on that it will take you and then it will automatically open up your macbook app store and take you to the direct link where you can hit that get option as well two ways to download it if you don't see the update coming from the system update itself so now finally we get the update now it's time to do the upgrade itself so we click on upgrade now and as you can see the down unload mac os is happening so it's going to take some time so i'm going to stop the video here once it downloads make sure during this process you don't want to interrupt the process just wait till it downloads correctly so all right guys we're back here now it's been about hour and a half since we stopped the video to get that download so my internet isn't that fast but it could take even longer depending on your internet connection and how the bandwidth is handling so as i mentioned in the very beginning do expect several hours up to for the upgrade to happen so finally finished we got this menu after it finished downloading and all we're going to do is hit that continue option and then we get terms and ag agreement so we got to just hit that agree option and then we'll agree to the terms and condition and then it will ask you to select the disk you should only have one disk if you have multiple disks select the one that says macintosh Harshin hd pretty much the first default one that you use the main one so we're going to click on that and then we're just going to hit continue you might have if you have multiple one just pick the one that's your main one so you hit continue and as i mentioned here it's going to ask for the password your username and password for the login for our password of the computer when we log in so all i'm going to do is just put that demo account in here so that's your again password to log into the computer you have to be an admin remember if you have a regular user you won't be able to do the upgrade so we're going to hit unlock here and as you can see here we get this screen where it says it's going to take about 58 minutes to install about but not really sure if it'll actually take 58 minutes sometimes those estimates are off but at the worst case scenario expect another hour or so for the upgrade to happen well the upgrade is happening recommend you don't do anything with your computer just leave it as it is so we're going to just wait till this process happens and stop the video again and then come back to you guys again all right guys so we're back here it's been a little over 15 minutes and as you can see here now it's gone down to 43 seconds but also here the macbook itself the fans are going off crazy when it's doing this installation and that's normal because it's doing a lot of work trying to install that new update as you can see it has completed so after it completes it's going to want you to restart it so you're going to hit that restart or automatically restart because you updated a new version of the mac os and it's going to close out all the apps all right guys as you can see here it's doing this so it when one time can complete it with the loading bar then the second time around 
the fan here now cool down. The first time it took about probably a minute or two, and the second time it seems like the bar is going a little bit faster. As you can see, it's moving on the screen here, and we're at the Apple logo again, and that's normal. You might see that menu complete a couple times back and forth when you're doing an upgrade, and don't worry if that's happening to you because that's, again, totally normal. You just have to be patient while this happens. But hopefully after this one, we'll be able to get back in. So we'll see how efficient the Mac upgrade process has become. So I'm seeing the Apple logo again. Uh, again, as I mentioned, the loading bar might appear multiple times. You just have to you kind know, of wait it out till it gets back to the login page. Essentially, once you probably complete the installation. So I'm gonna stop the video while it does that again. Alrighty guys, so after probably five or six of those rebooting or that loading sign coming up, it's been about 20 minutes or so and we finally got to this screen with the login for our MacBook, which means the upgrade was complete and all we need to do is just enter our login password here and we're back and as you can see it's been updated for us and and we're ready to go and we can see that by closing this out can hit continue over here and as you can see here we got this version up to date we'll go ahead and close this out and then go ahead and check the about of the MacBook as you can see Mac OS, Mac OS here, Monterey is here. As you can see, it's downloaded Monterey, and we're good to go from Big Sur. So that's how you go about doing an upgrade. Again, hopefully this was quick and easy. Now it wasn't quick and easy. So the time that it took, estimated about 20 minutes, another 20 minutes, or so half an hour, an hour and a half to initially download, and then 20 minutes and another 20. So roughly about two and a half hours worth of time it took on an older MacBook like this one, which is a 2015 one. If you have a newer one, it might be quicker. If you have even older one, it might take even longer. So depending on your experience, it could be either way. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if so, make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys and next time.